mud up, 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 mud up. Are we really started or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cap. No, we we good. We lost, man. Mud up, mud the word, mud the business. It's your boy Lanier Mucho. Hey, it's your boy, the official Brown Terrence Howard, man. And we are the hosts of Spanish Rice and Fried Chicken. <laughs> so we got our special guest host in the building, the lovely. Oh, Quasar the composer? Hello. <laughs> Hello. I didn't know it was the guest host, but hey. Oh, yeah, it's like that. It's okay. like that. Then we got our guests in the building. Y'all see them, man. Go ahead and let them know who you are, brother. Hey, my name is Ricky. Um, I'm a manager for mm-hmm. artists. Coming up artist, Ociel Magico and Melo the Galactic Mind. Red Magic Entertainment, you know how we do. Hey, shout out to Red hello. Magic Entertainment for real. Hello, hello. Quasar, hey. tell the people what you do. Tell, it, tell them to, what to expect. Mm. And all your fans, give them a little shout out. You know, for, nice. First and foremost. So um, my name's Quasar the Composer. I'm a rapper from Los Angeles, California. Hello. Um, I just dropped a new project at the on February 14th on Valentine's Day called Isolated on a Hill. Um, I got some singles coming soon, so I'm just an artist. I just be working and making stuff and thinking of stuff and bringing it to life. You feel me? And if y'all been watching my stories, I've been blasting the isolated on the hill. Yeah. So you got to you got to got to really go check it out. If you haven't heard it, make sure you guys go run it up. But before we go any further, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys share this to everybody, everybody and their mama. I have a quick question for you though. Yeah. Um, I wasn't privy to hear the the music. Uh huh. Like, how you coming? Um, pause. Nah, nah, I mean, perfect. Not pause. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. I'm coming hard. Hello. No. <laughs> Hello. Nah, nah that like, confidence. But yeah. um, so I'll just spit a little bar from um from one of the songs. So I got a song called "I Know How It Feels." Pretty much the whole tape is like a concept tape. Mm-hmm. So I live in the hills, and I've been there for like six years, and I'm be isolated a lot of the time because I'm there, and I just got real comfortable where I'm at. Right. So the concept tape is supposed to be like about people who do kind of some shady shit to get to where they're at and then when they get there they're like unrelatable to other people Mm, and feel like they can't really like really have nothing in common with other people but they're Mm. so comfortable so it's like F it I'm isolated on the hill you know but um so on I Know How It Feels, I say he was capping from the gate, told your boy fall back that I couldn't give him love and he fell for it too. No, I'm connected with the mob, armies and the jewels. I used to work for the plug. I could hit the Crips too. They think Ooh. I'm so square, so I approached him and so did more crimes than the, but he never know. Judge a book by his cover, so the nigga got played. His quote unquote best friend hit me the next day. Just Ooh. know I dodged every bullet and I pick up the shells. He really schemed for the, if you snooze, you lose. Now old boy Man. got the blues because he used like a tool. Ooh. I'm an OG Whoa. bitch. I just look brand new. Do what Ooh. I gotta do Then I hide out in the hills Never hit his ass back Now we all in his fields Never Ooh. hit the feds once Cause I know how it feels To be left out for death Sitting in court with the chills So Ooh, you see fire. It's yeah. hot in here It's, it's yeah. really hot That's <laughs> Nicki Minaj Chill <laughs> Cardi B Chill, Chill. <laughs> We got a new princess in town Maybe yeah, even a queen Yeah from the big west side You Stop hey. playing with us The oldest The best Stop Lines. playing with us West. Yellow <laughs> Yeah, I'm fucking with that. I yeah. respect that. Apologize in advance, but I respect that. Yeah, I love the hustle. You keep doing what the hell you doing. I appreciate I can that. Feel it right here. You I know appreciate what I'm that. I love I what I do. It. You feel me? Because you made me feel some type of way already. Yeah, I, was like, I told a little get, story. She I was give trying the to the best friend a day after, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. I'm still in my feels. Are you over there with him on the hill? Nah, but he <laughs> hit me though. But he hit me though. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that nigga wrong. He wrong. She get down. She get down. Hey, Ricky, tell us a little about the merch that we got laid out here, man. Uh, this is a clothing bl- brand that I started about 12 years ago, Killing Competition. Uh, you know, the meaning behind Killing Competition is not like a uh, gangster. We're killing Damn. people out there. Bad, yeah. But we're trying to be the best we can at what we do, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're a UPS driver, then uh, you're trying to kill the competition, which is your... FedEx. FedEx. Yeah, FedEx. Yeah. You know, if you're a rapper, FedEx, you're trying to yeah. be the best rapper, you know? So you're yeah. Killing Competition. Facts. Podcast, you guys are Killing Competition, Hello. you know? He hey. ain't never gonna say that yeah. twice. Hey, you heard me? Give it to him three times. Oh, damn it, brother! Damn it, brother! I have to. I it's have been to, a while, hasn't it? It has been it's a been while. It's been a while. Get been a while. back in motion, gang. Here I'm we sorry, go. Man. We've been, we've been Since out here. Since y'all been gone, oh, you because I heard y'all went to MIA, yo. The three oh five. The 305. Get the yayo. I heard y'all did it big, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, man. Matter of fact. Is donuts is donuts available? Yeah, so donuts, I get donuts. Donuts, donuts, yeah, yeah. donuts you available? Yo, donuts, bro. What, what was you? What you? What did you have going on in Miami, man? Let us know what's going on, man, with Miami. Uh, 
It was a trip, bro. It was a great trip. We had a lot of fun. Um, me and Furman went to go see alligators. What? Alli live alligators. Uh, we went on a boat. Shit. We went. No, no. Remember what I told you? What? We went to go do some white people shit. That's what we went to go uh, do. Can I ask a question? Were Whoa. they the water boy like boats? Like yeah. yeah. The one with the fan on the, the back? Ah. Yeah. 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 That's hard. Yeah. So y'all doing some south shit. We were doing some south yeah. shit. They <laughs> said we couldn't eat the alligators. <laughs> Bro, alligator nuggets is the bombest I heard. Bro, I heard. I heard alligator but nuggets is the bombest. They said, they said if you want to go, you got to go out to Louisiana. So Hello. I, had to, I had to go with my brother. You, you already know. Yeah, you got to take where it's me out, man. We told Tag them gators where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? Get about a thousand a tote. Yeah. Oh, you're from there? No, my family. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, I'm from Pasadena. Moved to Corona. Nice. Y'all know what it is. Circle City, Don, you feel me? But the Peoples is from the Baton Rouge. That's you know fire. What I'm saying? And that's just been in me since a little gator. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. I've never been gator. to the Bayou ever. You, you don't want to go to the Bayou. But I do. you <laughs> might want to go to the Bayou Classic, though. Oh, okay. You Bayou might want to go to the Bayou Classic. Okay. You know okay. But you gotta say it like that. Say buy you classic. Buy you classic. There it is. 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 You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big dog. Yes, sir. I know you got something to tell me about the MIA, yo. Let oh, me yeah, know, man. man. I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek, a little, you know, a little, little, little mind picture so y'all could get, you know, a little teaser for one of the vlogs. I think this was gonna be in what, part two? Part two donuts? Jeskies is part two, right? So, <laughs> man what we said, did, we, yeah, we I mean, rode the Jeskies <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> Yeah, but I, uh, you know, me riding the first time on the jet ski, you know, I'm gonna roll that bitch over. Yeah, but you're you in did? the ocean too. Like that's yeah. different from a lake. Like in Cali, we do a lot of jet skiing on the lakes. I that's couldn't nice. imagine doing that's it on nice. the ocean. And, and, and you know what's crazy? Correct ocean me if I'm wrong. Crazy. There was warnings yeah. for crocs and sharks in the beaches. So uh, we was in the beaches. Yeah, crocs. Yeah. Oh, no, I ain't nah, nah, crocodiles. Nah, nah. 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 Miami, y'all ain't gotta worry about me. Crocodile. Y'all ain't gotta worry about me, Miami. Never heard of I'm it. Tell you right me neither. No, no, no. I'll show y'all. I'll show you that news. The, the the little news thing. Actually, there was 15 people that got bit over Fourth of July weekend, bro. Just over that weekend. Just over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Miami. You all gotta do something about that, man. They the can, flamingos bro. is cool, but the they gators can. at the beach, it. like, come on, bro. They they explain it, bro. Come on, bro. There's no gator. There's a crocodile. Yeah, it's a, on, it's a way bigger beast, that. bro. I'm not doing that. It's a way bigger beast. I, are you okay? Yeah, bro. You sure? Any yeah. missing pieces? Yeah. For no, real. I'm glad good. my guy is good, man. <laughs> yeah, good, you man. made it back to Cali in one piece. Shout out to Miami, man. I like. I got love for y'all a little. You know what I mean? Because y'all do things a little differently. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Similar to Cali. You know what I mean? Miami remind me of Dago. Just a little more exotic. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah. That's just my thing. You feel me? From coast to coast, man. We get alive, bro. So anything else you need to tell us about Miami before we get on to the next nah, thing? That's pretty much it, man. We, we just just stay tuned for that jet ski because I'm I'm unveiling something very special, you know, it's some, mm. something authentic, you know. Mm. You know, I flip. You know, we we was on the on the jet ski with my wife and we flipped the jet ski and we got authentic reactions and I'm gonna put everything up on there. That's and fine. I, I know. Fucking up. Go to the back. The phone. Bro, you're getting in trouble, man. Bro, you're out here fucking though. up the rental equipment and all that. You know what I'm saying? Hell you're here no. in Miami hey, like, bro, he has a story to they, tell. They, yeah. they were tripping on me, though. They tripped mostly on Donuts because he got kicked out within 30 minutes of being on Dang. the fucking Jesse. 30 minutes? Donuts, what's going and on, he forgot man? to charge his phone, too? Yeah, bro. He fucking up, bro. Big time. <laughs> the camera? Every time oh, I think camera, of Jet Skis in Miami, I think of... Uh, I think a DJ Khaled stuck in Florida Keys. Like, <laughs> yo, it's getting dark out here. <laughs> <laughs> that shit scares me, bro. I don't, I don't know, man. Hey, I'm, I'm about vibe. to do it. If I do it, it I'm going to do it with y'all. Like, so I know I'm not alone. You feel me? No, it's a big vibe. So we my could Spanish get to fire chicken people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be stuck yeah. together. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's better than being alone, right. man. Yeah. No, it was All a big Tom Hanks had was a damn volleyball. You know what I'm saying? At least I got the squad. Sorry. You good. Yeah, yeah. As long as you good, as long as you good. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I don't mean to get off subject real quick, real quick, no, real good, quick. Good. Back to your to your to your verse. Uh-huh. She shout out the mob, y'all. No game banging, just it's my family. You shout out the mob, so it really made me connect with that with that verse. Just so I wasn't you know. talking about no hood though. I just no, said no, no, connected with the mob like the money men. You like was, the, you, you, you the Russians about, and the, you know. You wasn't talking about no hood, but yeah. but you Armenians made somebody that, that has a click. Like it yeah. made me feel like, oh, you throwing the mob. Okay. Yeah. We appreciate you for that. Mopsis, yeah, man, make sure y'all hit her up. Industry. Make sure y'all hit her up, though, and be like, yo, thank you for shouting us out, even though it wasn't about us. Thank you, man. My gang, you know.
Hey, blessings, bro. Blessings. Yeah, man. It was it was it was a dope moment. And overall, man, it was good times in Miami. Okay. I know you won't go. Enough for the BS, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with Bronny James in his first appearance with the Los Angeles Lakers for the summer league? I think that was what the California district or something like that. He right. played a game already. Yeah, he yeah, already he played did. a game yeah, over the, the summer weekend. League. Tell me about uh, it. What's had, the recap? He had, he had four points, two, two rebounds. Two How assists. long was he in the game? Uh, not really the whole game, but he was okay. in the game enough to get if more I'm than four mistaken, points. I'm not he oh, was okay. in for like 21 minutes. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. That's like half the game at least, yeah, I, think, I would say. I think it was about that, that You much. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the thing is, he only hit like two shots out of nine. Oh, he hit nine, but he didn't make uh, he nine. Shot nine. Yeah, he oh, he shot, shot nine, nine he, he only, only made two. two. Yeah. So, so... People are, you know, people got mixed emotions about it. Some people are feeling it. Some people are not. It's cool. My whole thing is this, though. My whole thing is this. I don't think people really understand how much hard it takes to get on a professional, any professional stage. Yeah. And shoot, shoot the gym out. Like, and it's not only being on a professional stage. He's the son of LeBron, who has already a lot of eyes on him, right? Mm, so I think real. the pressure that he has to follow in his father's footsteps is pretty big. But I think he's doing well with the pressure. He don't even show no, like, emotion. No, well, exactly. He be, like, just running down the court like his dad. Like, just... See, what you said, I'm thinking, like... I'm thinking what it is with the boy is that he not coming from the hood straight to the league like That's these other fact. boys. So like he don't have dad. that hunger. He been in a lap of luxury his whole life. That's and he been practicing and running it with them. So he don't... Even though he knows... The game? Like, he knows yeah. the game and he knows that he got to represent. It's still, like... It's Where's your dog fuel, at? That fuel yeah. ain't really in him. I get you. I get you. He need that gasoline. Now. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand what Quay is saying. Like bro. a young Iverson or something. It's just different. You know what? That's true. You know Kobe, what I mean? Kobe Bryant had it. Long live. Yeah. Long Iverson live. had it. Gina Michael too. Jordan had it. Yeah. It seems like people that come from the gutter. Let's just be honest. People that come from the gutter have more dog in a fight. You know they what I'm saying? They got more on the line. They got to take care of their mamas and their family. His mamas and families is already put up. Bro. Okay, so let me ask you this then. It's a, it's kind of off subject, but it's gonna make sense. Okay. So what's Drake's excuse? Because Drake ain't from the gutter. Well, what they, but they said and his he's mama, a dog. No, but they said his mama was on disability, and they you know like so she wasn't probably getting that much money. They were probably just living like an average middle okay. American life. So he Maybe still has some dog them in to him. that. Yeah, she took them okay. to that millionaire level. Okay. I mean, he took them to that millionaire level. I don't think they had it like that, like that. But the money that they were getting was the Degrassi money. Right. But I mean, back in that day, like it probably was just enough to help with bills and do mm. you know maintain a life like a home. Really. I get you. I mean, I, get yeah. you. I mean, hold up, hold up. Yeah. We still talking about this, man? What, about Drake and Kendrick? Hey, come on, No, man. I just, no, but it's I didn't bring up Kendrick. It's still going to be a topic. We <laughs> still talk about yeah, Jesus and us. And then y'all still not like us. No, no, no. But no, for real, bro. For real. Seriously, for real. For real. But my Facts. thing, the only reason why I brought up Drake was a comparison. You know, no, 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 no. I feel you. I feel you. I'm just, I'm just, fake I'm just like, joshing. So I was just throwing that for the Bronny point of view. Right, right. Because it's like, like she said, But also with Drake, the difference is, is that Drake, he got brought into the into the circle with the dudes that was hungry so if he wanted to stay alive in that circle he had, he had to compete to survive. Yeah, he had facts. to compete he had so to. The, I facts. think the basketball industry is a little different than like the rap industry is, you know is. what I mean it's so. either rap or ball where we come from as facts. y'all know you For know what I'm saying facts. at the same time we gotta explore more options but back to the subject at hand what do y'all think is the future for Bronny James at this point does it look promising or does it look like yo bro you should have stuck with SC I mean, and kept shooting at the gym like before you did the I mean, if did the game with the big butt, dogs you can't really put everything on the first appearance bro I for agree. real because I there's agree. a lot of pressure as it is on the first appearance level so you gotta give them maybe two three games yeah. and then we you know we'll throw them not too many people ball out on their first game man I'm gonna be honest with y'all I don't know if y'all know that that's a hidden hidden fact. Not but too many that people. But that could be strategic, too. They could be like, just take a light real quick. Yeah, yo, bro, just really a... suck real quick so we could really smack on these niggas. Yeah, that could it be could be a game. strategic Honestly. kind of... Yeah, we're just trying to get yeah, some yeah. recipe so, so, for the season. A, 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 little side, a little side question. Y'all think the Lakers are going to take it this year for the uh, finals? I'm always going to say yes. <laughs> I already put the bet. And I'm always going to say no. I'm going to say that... I'm going to say that uh, I think Golden State could take it before yeah. the Lakers. Only because, and I'm a Laker head. I love the Lakers, but 
LeBron has tarnished the Laker brand. Well, Ooh. I'm glad you. Good point, right Wait there. Wait a minute. Yeah, I got I got to let you. Remember. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, like if you gonna come to LA, if you gonna come to LA, and you're supposed to be, you're comparing yourself to a Kobe and to a Jordan, mm, right. and people are comparing you to that too, and you're here for a certain amount of years, and you still didn't get us no championship. Like, dog, go home, go like, home, because it's so, a champion city. So you, yeah. so you, you don't count the bubble championship as a championship. Was you it look the, at that as like, was it the NBA? Final championship was it that? Yeah. It is. He went. What championship did he win? 2020. 2020. But it was I in the bubble though. It. it was during COVID. That's why. Yeah, it was many during players COVID, were it was playing. In the bubble. I didn't even so remember. So pe- a lot of people are like, "Yo, that don't count." It really don't count. Play is on your head, bro. Look, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. You don't feel like Bron, right? The superstar that he is, right? LeBron. Every team, LeBron, LeBron, okay. LeBron, right? The daddy, the daddy. Mm-hmm. You every <laughs> team he goes to. He brings them a ring, right? Is that true? Because he was at his he, original team and he never got them a ring. You know what? what that's team? a good point. She's he he the had to leave. Cavaliers. He couldn't yeah. be yeah. like Kobe and stay down with yeah, one team. Fact. He had to be a hood hopper to that's, be able to get with other type of players. Yo, she yeah. called so you a hood hopper, bro. <laughs> so, she, he, she ain't bro, wrong, bro. how loud is she called you a hood she, hopper? She played for the Miami. He got a ring out there, but then again, went to Cleveland. Come on, but At first. At first. When he came back and got. But then he brought one to Cleveland. He was Cleveland. I know you remember that. With Kyrie. With Kyrie, with Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. Yeah, but you got to think about yeah, the other balls. players that was around him when he got those accomplishments. That's facts. You know, it wasn't just... He didn't really have nobody with him during the first run with the Cavaliers. He did not bring a ring home the first run with the Cavaliers, and that's ultimately and that's why, why he went to there. Miami in the first place. Yeah. To, to so I do respect what you're saying. Yeah. Like, as far as Cleveland's concerned... And I'm not even a big football... I mean, basketball no, fan. I just... I just Lightly know stuff, but I yeah, know I that. You. I know I he didn't get no. And for you to know right? that, that's that's amazing. You yeah. feel me? But every squad LeBron gets with, besides the first Cavaliers, I give okay. you that, he brought a ring to him. So every team he's played for, he's bought them a ring. Okay. Now the the, the Laker one is kind of like eh, because it's like it was done in the bubble. So we're waiting for him to bring us a ring now. Right, when a it's real really ring. game time. When we can have a parade. Yeah. See, the LA Lakers didn't have a parade for 2020. It no, was still, yo, six feet yeah. of separation. Six, six feet, yeah, you're so, right. So this we're waiting for the real deal. Holy fuck. I didn't right. even know we got a ring in 2020. I really didn't even know that. Well, it was because of the and bubble. And I feel kind of bad, they, but yeah. also, Nobody who was, was watching with that. LeBron when they got that ring? Jimmy Butler. They went against Jimmy Butler. Name. Jimmy Butler, yeah, they no, beat I'm us saying, in the final. who was on the Lakers with him? Like, who was his? It was actually a better team than they've ever had, I think Caruso was still there, right? Caruso, they had Rondo, they had Rondo, yeah. McGee. They yep. had Howard. Howard. They had a stacked team as far as veterans is concerned. Yeah. But then they let them all go because they got the max contracts. who was the coach in 2020? Um, Frank Vogel? Yeah. Frank Vogel. Do they, is he still the coach now? No, man. Negative. Who's they've, the coach they've now? They've had two coaches since then. Now, oh, wow. now it's a guy named J.J. Redick that's never coached before. So um, that's professionally why it's going to be kind of iffy if they might But he's a baller. He's, he was a hooper he's before. He's an ex-baller. Yes. Kind of like Fisher kind of situation. Yes, yes, yes. Got you. Yes. So with that being said, this new Lakers is going to look different. We already know that. Bron, and I'm talking about the son now, Bronny, right? Bron is going to get his time to shine, but they're truly trying to develop him. Yeah. So we will see what he brings to the court. I'm hoping he does his thing. But if I mean, he does I'm it, hoping so, too, because it's know? L.A. Like, we want our city to win. Oh, yeah, back but to that. But if it can't be L.A., it got to be the, it gotta be Golden State. Back yeah, to that, though. Real. Back to that, though, because I do like what you said. Mm-hmm. You were saying, like, yo, L.A., we don't play that. Yeah, you we got, don't play that you, When you come here, you play like you from L.A., dude. Yeah, bang <laughs> you know that what I'm saying? Shit, bang that ball. You the mess up thing is, <laughs> pause, but no pause. The mess up thing is, the mess up thing is, is every person from L.A., though, doesn't get love in the Laker uniform. That's wonderful. Not too many people, at least. Right. If they, That's if you right. can put put them in the comments. If y'all can find somebody that got love from LA and play for LA, let us know. I think uh, Arisa was Nikki like Young? the only one. What about uh, Trevor Arisa? You're right. I mean, I, I, what about I mean, he got love, Westbrook. but it wasn't like he didn't really Westbrook do too much LA? that made it like yeah, yeah he didn't really you know what I mean? did he? No, like didn't play for LA. Yes, no. and he didn't get no love, bro. He, oh yeah, he yeah, yeah, he on him every single game. Every we single got up, right? he was we on the just stage want with Kendrick. To hold the weight. That's we're it. winners. Yeah, LA, are, we're winners. Yeah, we're yeah, you're right. winners. Yeah, that's all we Come want. Here if you if win. you're not a winner, bro, yeah. even if we love you, bro, outside the court, you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? So I do respect that. Yeah, but I got a very, very special. Oh, send it. Send very, it, send very it. special topic for y'all. Let's talk. And about it's it. only right if I start the right way. All right, send it. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, boys and girls, Whoa. dogs and whores. Hey man, I'm finna get straight to it. Talk to him, Talk fellas, to him. ladies. Yes. Wow. 
in this new generation that we live in, it's been a growth of self-love and a lack of love in a relationship. Talk about it. Um, I'm an 80s baby, not to tell too much about my age, but I'm an 80s baby. You know what I'm saying? And growing up, love was like a real thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was growing up, I used to get my hair braided like halfway, and then the other hair was just out. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had to, on some Method Man stuff. You know what I'm saying? I had to, I had the headband on, and I was on my, like, where would I be without my baby? Like, I was really, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, you can't even confess your love like that without getting played out, regardless. Nah, yeah, but we like, don't even have it in the media. Like, we have poetic justice and all that kind of stuff. It's all ratchet activity for well, the most part. For, for most that, part. you can so your boy Drake, Versus relationship. Okay, I like that. What do you rock with? What do you prefer? And what do you think about it ultimately? Either way. I personally feel like... Ladies first, definitely. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I personally feel like um, situationships are trash. Mm. But also, guys, the only reason why girls end up in situationships because guys gaslight and, like, they play games, like, as if... Like, I mean, it's probably some girls that's like, oh, I just want to hit and leave. Like, I don't want to deal with you. But that's like, I think that's rare. I think most of the time when a woman is invested in like a dude, like sleeping with him or anything, I think it's because she wants to be in a relationship unless it's just some strictly friends with benefits type Mm -hmm. shit. But I think situationships are like people are tricked in the situationships. Mm -hmm. Like guys kind of gaslight like, oh, it's going to be something more and then switch up real quick. So look, yeah, I mean, I'm getting. I'm no, getting. I, I mean, coming from a female's point of view, exactly. I can see what you mean because yeah. I'm a goon. Yeah, I'm a straight nigga. Okay, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I already know if it depends on the woman, right? If she's somebody, I feel like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna I'm pull all the stops out for it. Yeah. But if she feels like it's kind of like a community pool, like we could all jump in when we feel like it's hot outside, let's jump in. Then yeah, I might treat her like a situation ship or less, right? Yeah. So it does depend, but. I have a question, a real question. You're a woman, right? What do you think about when a woman throws it like, "Mm, right now I'm not really like doing that. Like the guy could be doing everything he can. He could be taking her out. He could be giving her the best things he can buy her, the gifts. He could be paying attention to the conversation. You remember back in the day, niggas ain't never pay attention to the conversation. Right. Right? Nowadays, niggas pay attention to the conversation to everything. Like, yo, like I did everything I could for you. But they still don't be satisfied. But I is, think sometimes, is there a reason for that or? Yeah. So to that, like the only time that I'm comfortable with the situation ship mm-hmm. is if I'm getting, if he's helping me get money. Ooh. Like, like so I had she a situation ship yeah. in New York right. from 2021 uh, to like ship probably 2023. Like oh, that nigga's early still 2023. Around. No, that not nigga's no more up. though. Not okay, not no right. more, but I did have that, right. and he was like helping me get like thirty bands like every six months, so I didn't mind. And I only seen him every time we did a play, and then we might hook up. But outside of that, like I'm not comfortable with just like if you're not helping me in any way, then right. I'm not good on those situationships because it's that. just it, it diminishes a woman's self esteem, and like that's how we are like we start feeling like if somebody is treating us a certain way then maybe it's something wrong with me it's just the way because women work off emotions right that's, that's true so we start getting in we, our head and second guessing who we are we might get we might get insecure <laughs> we hard. might start we might that's start hard. not looking as decent as we was looking when we first was messing with him and start right, right, caring right. less about you feel me right, right, right. and it's just yeah. weird that's why you see when a girl break off from him then it's like oh dang she looking good then he want to check her she got her she got her mind back and she got her confidence back she oh. wasn't having her confidence dealing with whoever she was dealing with he yeah. was breaking or her she, whole or she had to water it down to to i guess make him feel better or make the other guy, I don't think she's doing it to make him feel yeah, better because we so. always want to be at our and best, but yeah. sometimes it just be that negativity and that bad energy just be leaking over to us. Okay, so what if there is no bad energy, right? right. Okay. Because I've seen girls like if you I was talk about the freaky girls, the girls that just want to. The freaky tosas. Yes. The freaky, 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 freaky tona. Dale freaky tona. I think no, no, those no, no, girls no. be like hustlers and like when it's yeah. the girls that you said, like it's the dudes that do a lot for them. I think these guys are like over they're they're actually not using their common sense because as a man you got to be able to read the room sometimes like they'll you know dudes will treat maybe somebody who who deserves it less than Mm -hmm. and then somebody who don't deserve it 
um, better yeah, yeah, and yeah, only yeah. because oh, of bitch. only because you Preach. know they'll kind of like d- dangle something in front of your head and you just kind of yeah. reaching the whole time gotta be quicker than that yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yo put that in the, put that in the b-roll please right put that in the b-roll <laughs> so with that being said because that's quite you don't know how long me and firm have been looking for somebody to keep it real. Well, I mean, from that's a female's perspective, yeah. because I mean, that's me and him first. always had these type of conversations, mm-hmm. Spanish rice and fried chicken, and it's just us. And then we look at each other like, "Hey, but you see how I didn't have to say nothing." Females, though? Yeah, like, come on. But I do want to know how you feel, though. I, I agree, a hundred fold. Like, I mean, but then again, you, speaking so from you a agree human with perspective, relationship or relationship. I agree with relationship. I don't okay. agree with situation Okay. And every relationship I've been in, because I consider the, everything a relationship, yes, I've yes. been in a relationship longer than a year or two. Facts. So it's not a situation Facts. It's more of a relationship. That's definitely a relationship. So I dedicated that time towards that purpose. Right? Facts. Now, you know, I'm married, happily married, and it's, I consider it a relationship. Aww. I consider it a relationship, for sure. So yeah. Respect, gang. Cheers to love. Love, sis. Respect, gang. For real, for real. <laughs> Ricky, how you feeling, man? Uh, I was scared to ask my man. We got the dogs in there. I was scared. Woo, 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 woo. Nah, I think no. From perspective. You feel me? How you feeling about well, it? Well, I feel like, like, like she mentioned, uh, the other person needs to uh, port something like, and I don't mean financially, but like, like for me, as in, like I have a lot of things to do, like manage OZ and and Mello. I have school. You know, I have a job, so then you need it, somebody to help you pick up the slack. Yeah, right? yeah. pick up, motivate me, or like. Because you know? there's different ways of being beneficial. It's not always financial. Yeah, you know? I, that correctly. You 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 took the words from my mouth, and <laughs> I definitely agree with that. You know, sometimes you need someone to talk to. You know, like you get out of work, and then you just need that person to hear you out. You know, they might not know the people you're talking about, but they're gonna hear you out and you know give you advice on what to do right. So that's that's my yeah, my you opinion. Need somebody in your corner, like. Giving you, you good positive energy versus just taking up space. Yeah, and, and a situation ship is like, you know, a waste of time, you know. That's something we can't buy in this world, you know, time. So uh, I'm really, really, I'm going to use the word uh, ain't no when it comes to time. So uh, I like to be on time everywhere. And um, that's uh, that's basically it. I, I'm in a relationship type of guy, you know. Okay, nice. okay. Love, lovey dovey type of, you know. I like, I like, I like that. Like the five percent in here because there's not. Are you gonna talk on the dogs? Yeah, okay, he has to. Have to. <laughs> I kinda, advocate today. I kind of have to. Yeah. I kind of have to. Um. All right, y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. <laughs> I love hard. Okay. I'm one of those guys. I'm a Scorpio and all that. <laughs> so like, for me. Like loving hard, I, yo. I got to keep it real with them donuts. I got. I, 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 my I wife is Scorpio. That's why I laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we different. Know. We be different. Knowing. We on some other shit. Uh, if you hurt us, we for sure hurting you. But <laughs> yeah, for sure. For real. But shit. I think that jet ski, bro. That's the only thing that I play in my head, bro. I'm gonna show you the video. You gotta oh, see that. That's crazy. Shit funny. crazy. Yeah, 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 yo, we gonna have crazy paint. Is that paint? Is that painful? Falling off? Yeah. Not really. You're falling into the ocean. You kind of roll on there. But the thing is, like, if you're not well equipped, if you don't know how to swim, like, it's very dangerous. Uh, because you're in the middle of the ocean. Y'all didn't yeah. have no life jackets? We had life jackets. Okay. But that shit, who was? I was like, maybe like five, six feet away from the jet ski. I had to swim a cool minute. Did the water slap you? <laughs> I had to swim. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes yeah. you can land on the water. <laughs> he was trying to get to shore like, like a flop. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, bro. You know how to swim or you dog it that no, I know how to swim. Oh, okay. Doggy paddling. Doggy paddling. Wait till. Bitch, come on. <laughs> nah, I, hey, I, all I was thinking of was about the crocodiles and the sharks, bro. Oh, oh, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, out of there, bro. Oh, did you leave your wife or did you, like, grab her? I, I was trying Honestly. to get on the boat, but oh, she was pissed off. He laughed, man. I dropped it off. He laughed, man. No, I let her go, Jack. No, I let her go. I let her go. I said, girl, but she thought I'm over here. No, hold on, hold on. So I'm going to give context. I'm going to show you the video, but I'm going to give context. So we got thrown off, right? I'm grasping for air, bro, because I had to swim a cool minute, right? She's still holding the phone, recording everything. So she yelling at me like, I told you. Like, you never listen. You fucking up. That's, that, that's what you hear, right? And I'm over here like, get on the boat. But it's because I'm holding my breath. You know, like I'm grasping for air, <laughs> bro. Like, get on the boat. Yeah, get on the boat. Get on the, get boat. On the boat. sharks is here. You feel <laughs> me? Like, get on the here. boat. But I didn't I did let her wait, get on first, and then <laughs> I got on really nice. He's nice. about to pass out in the water. That's how you get on the boat. Your character with some stuff <laughs> like that. He was getting uh, to shore. He's like, where's she at? Several times. Like, the first time that we was dating, 
uh, there was a bee. I really do not fuck with bees. So I left her behind and I left, bruh. <laughs> but I mean, I. This was in the dating stage? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I left her behind, but bruh. best believe I learned my lesson. I ain't gonna do that. What's wrong with you? Hey, bro, I learned my lesson, bro. I ain't doing that again. You feel me? It was, it was, it was crazy. We always leave us. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> Shout out to all the queens out there, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to the wifey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out but to the white feet. Back to that bullshit. <laughs> hey, before you start, let me get an edible. Oh, more than welcome. More than welcome. Pa- pass me the mean? box, bro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get right. Oh, we got, gonna get right back to something. y'all. We're gonna get right. right now. We're gonna let I brought you guys go something. Do some crazy. Some crazy. Feeling. Not something crazy, you know. Hello. I brought some edibles for everybody. Oh. You know, we could, we couldn't smoke here, so I brought um. Some wow. edibles, you know. Great. Don't black people like great. That's fine. Here, we put this yeah, but I think I think I'm gonna. Yeah, you know. Because black people are like great. We can open that one. Okay, want. so this is my time Perfect to make the time. announcement yes. that I'm not smoking or drinking anymore. Ooh. I haven't been smoking or drinking since Exclusive. December 30th. Oh, Give a round of applause. And I've been a stoner since I was in the fifth grade. Let's be clear. Yeah, no. Give a round of applause because yeah. hey, that's definitely something that I'm trying to achieve. Right, you feel me? So right, definitely, right, right, you know, right, you feel me? Thank you. So how how does how does it feel so far? Okay, so let me just tell you how I first started. It was I was doing a diet. So I was doing this diet called 75 Hard, and you pretty much have to like work out twice a day. You have you can't drink liquor because liquor makes it hard for you to lose weight. That's right. understandable. Um, so I, it wasn't no smoking. That wasn't a rule. So at first I was still smoking, and around like January something, like probably the first week of January, I just d- decided to stop smoking because I noticed how much money I was spending on weed, and I'm trying to save for my daughter's birthday party. So I was like, Hello. I'm gonna save some money. I'm not. I'm, I'm already stopped drinking, so I might as well just stop smoking. Facts. And I hit a little something when I went to Houston for South by Southwest, but be careful it was in Houston. Real, nah, mm. it was. I, I seen it roll, but it was. Um, <laughs> it was. It was light. It was a joint. It wasn't a blunt like I would usually smoke. Right, right, me right. By myself, so it wasn't nothing that threw me off too much. But I've been cool. Like I'm still vaping. That's the only thing I'm still doing. But also at the same time, like I feel like I got more clarity. When I go to parties or bars and I just be seeing everybody, I just be like, yeah, I don't I'm out. Be like that. Yeah, I'm out. I don't want to be like that. Quick question though. So if you ever. Sl- but I've been wild. Let me just let that be known. Like I, I did everything oh, that no. I could possibly ever do. Okay. I was a part of the Thiz movement. Hello, Thiz. I was a part Thiz of all that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Respect. So respect. I did it all. Like I'm like, what else? Like what else could I get out of it? It's not really nothing else I, I could get that. out of it. But I have a question though. You don't yeah. want, you want me to? Oh, okay, my bad, my bad, Cuddy. My question is, so if you ever get with a, uh, if you settle down with somebody else, right, give mm-hmm. somebody else a chance, yeah, and they smoke. I'm not hating on that because so I know can, what it is. I just, it don't need to hinder anything. Like you don't need to be a dude who comes home and just smokes and sit. Like sometimes we need to go outside. Sick. Like <laughs> right. yeah, I agree be, with that. I don't want to be bored. I want to have fun in life. Hello, so. that's the only thing. If you could smoke and you could function, cool. If yeah. you wanted them goofy, you know it's different people. Yeah. Different people get different yeah. on me. Yeah. If you wanted them, I'm goofy and I'm stuck. Like I'm good. Never, well, never. Me, stay stuck. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Off the indica. Okay. Fuck. That's all Off I smoke indica, though. That's yeah. all I yeah, smoke. That's Off the, the bomb. indica, I might be. But the sativa, I'm like, yo, let's produce something. Bro, I couldn't yo, smoke <laughs> sativa <laughs> because sativa had me just thinking too paranoid. much. Like, I'll, not even paranoid, paranoid, but just like my thoughts. It's like, da, 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 da. But I'm a thinker. Low key, the okay. blue one. So for is me, far. kind of medical. The blue one is fire. I'm a fire oh, sign, let me so try it. That okay. One. That might be a little too What's much. What's your sign? No disrespect. I'm a Sagittarius. There's oh, no you right behind there. me. I'm proud. I'm yo, a proud Sagittarius. No, Leo. No, Sagittarius is gangsters. No, but Leo's are my buddies. Sagittarius is gangsters. That's my buddies. My baby is a Leo. My cat is a Leo. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Sagittarius are gangsters. Very much so. They're dangerous. And we Especially got different to a faces. Scorpio. Yeah. That's a fact. I yeah. know the gang. You ain't got to tell me. So they, we the opposite of Gemini. They say Gemini got two faces, but Sagittarius got like, we could put on a lot four? of different. More? I, I think more than four. Lord. Yeah. Because I'm Yo, a gangster, episode, but I'm also a professional. I'm also an gangster. entrepreneur. I'm a rapper. I'm a mom. I'm a hustler. You feel me? It's Stop a lot of Stop wearing so many stuff. damn hats. Yeah. Stop yeah, wearing so many damn hats. And hey, let's give it up for Queens giving up so many hats, man. Let's give it up for the Queens, man. For real, for real. Yo, yo, yo. For real, the for real. real Queens. Shout the out real to my queen, guys, for real. man. You already know what it is, gang. RJ, Melo, Ozzy. Shout yeah, out to you guys. Red Magic in the Nine Y'all vision. know what Red Magic gonna do. You know what I'm saying? They on the next episode, so y'all hey, better so stay tuned. A real, a real quick, real. you know, like a review on these edibles. The blue ones taste fire. You hardly taste the weed. On the grape ones, you kind of have a little weed taste in the background. I agree with that. Okay. Yeah, I just oh, try to. Where's the grape? Where's a grape, grape. Then, because I want to taste some a little bit. But the fruit they are, they, 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 they hard though. I really yeah. fuck with it. 
Hey man, y'all tap in, y'all see what it is. It's you know zen, how them man. edibles, they Get hit the you. Yeah. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away because I don't got time to be on the show doing what you said. Stuck. stuck I'm supposed to be over here. Being goofy. With my dog. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it. I'm, I'm a veteran when it comes to this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Gang, gang, gang. Yes. But I mean, we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna take it easy. So. Always, always, always. So listen, I was gonna give y'all the perspective of a goon, a perspective of a person that has been. Maybe you could say bitter. Some people would say bitter. Okay. Some people would say healed. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you look at it. But we're going to save it for another time. What? You talk about for the situationship. <laughs> sure. You're not going to yeah, talk I, about it? Yeah, see, see. I want to hear the other I, opposite I, end. All right, all right. Yeah, hear because the, you ain't uh, going to ex- escape this, man. For real. Yeah, and keep it real because everybody's at different stages of their life. So it's not to say that you're going to always be in that stage. No, no, no. 100, 100. Yeah. I think... For me, for me, y'all, like I told y'all earlier, I'm um, I, I love hard. So for me, I probably give up too much too fast. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All right. So like, if I'm really, really feeling somebody, I'm probably gonna hit pull out all the bells, all the whistles. And if y'all know, like I know, people appreciate mysteriousness, Bye. right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you give up too much. It's kind of like, well, what else is mystery about you? I'm well, also, cool. and then p- girls going to want to just keep on running through you type shit. Like, Facts. Yeah. But Facts. then I'm a goon. Yeah. So that's when it kind of hits this brick wall. You know oh, you saying? a simp, bro. Right. You're it's a simp. Real. I'm a simp. No, for real. You're right. Y'all are right. I am definitely <laughs> Captain Simp. But <laughs> once it hits that red wall, because y'all forgot I'm Scorpio, though, by man. The way. Yeah. Once it hits that red wall, though, it's up. So. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because y'all so. a water sign, but y'all a different type of water sign. Like, y'all a mean water mean, sign. Mean, yeah, yeah. Like, evil. We, evil. We so cool <laughs> until we not. Like, how could you? So, for me, um, relationships, to me, are always going to be more important than situationships. But I would be a liar if I told you. And I'm, and also, I'm a Scorpio in the way of, like, romantic type shit or, or a Scorpio in the way of sexuality, too. So, when it comes down to it, Bro, some of my best relationships have been with women that are not my girlfriends. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to be real with you. Some of my best situationships were better than my relationships. You see what I'm saying? So for me, it's like those be the hardest ones to leave sometimes. Like, she might have a baby daddy. I might have, you know what I'm saying? A baby mama. You know, I like that. I don't like to cross. <laughs> I don't like to. I don't like No, no, no. Yeah. But, but you got to understand, from a, from a nigga point of view, right? Yeah. You don't really know that at first. You just see what you see oh, okay. and be like, so you find that yo, out later. right. But that's how it that's happens crazy with the females. Though. We find, like, if we're in a situation like that, the dude usually don't say he got no, he act that's like he's crazy. just single. That's crazy. You know what, you yeah. what you mean? It's crazy. Blue, so what, blue he wants the blue one. He yeah. liked the blue I'm ones. For the blue one. The blue Look one. You. <laughs> you don't want to know it. Uh. You just want to feel it. Like, oh, shit. Nah, shit. you can feel it, bro. These <laughs> are fast acting, but I mean, it's oh, yeah, pretty I'm cool. I'm What's the brand? Zen. 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 Shout out to Zen. Y'all, y'all see what it is. Go get that Zen, man. Go Fast get shout out to gummies. Originals for the hard. And are they gummies or hard candies? No, gummies. gummies. Oh, okay. Take one. Good, 10 milligrams a piece. 10 milligrams. <laughs> no, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm Don't you let none of this. You go, girl. I'll let nobody influence me like no, that. That's never, right. Never, never. never. And we're not here to do that. But, uh, we're not here to do that. But uh, smoke weed every day. Hopefully. <laughs> for hopefully. sure. One day, one day. Yeah, well, you know, whenever you get uh, to there. If I got something, you could buy the weed from me. You feel me? She did say player, player. She did say she is a plug, though. The plug, yeah. So, I mean. Call her at me if you guys think me. She got yeah. So with that being said, y'all, rap, with that being said, we are done with the the love segment because uh, I don't think y'all ready for that. But I do want y'all to leave in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Leave in the comments what y'all appreciate more: situationship or relationship. Let us know what you what you think about either or, and what you think stands out more. And what side you on? Hello, hello. Yeah, and if you want to give a little insight on the situationship, you for can real, yeah. Trying to read something. Come on, you feel me? Make it interesting. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Before we get into the last topic, Ricky, I just want to know, man, because you, you you're influencing us in a way that you might not even know. Um, we've been through a lot of different teams to help us get to where we're getting at today, and what you do as a profession helps people get to another level. What do you have planned next? And how, how do you do all this great stuff that you do, sir? Well, I do it out of passion, first of all. Mm. You know, it comes from the heart. You know, I, I, I'm a really motivated man. Right. You know, I'm, I'm really disciplined, I'll say. Right. Are you an earth sign? 
Uh, I'm a water sign. I'm Aquarius. Oh, okay, Hello. Guys, yeah. You guys are thinkers. Y'all some gangsters. Oh, no, you're actually <laughs> an air sign. Aquarius is our air, air signs. They're thinkers. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're thinkers. Thinkers. Yeah, I didn't know or that. Let you, or or think, let you think they're thinking and really they on action. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm, yeah. playing. I'm talking about the women. Sorry, <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, but my next plan is uh, uh, manage OZ and Melo and take them to the next level. You know, they're already uh, established a uh, uh, set of artists. Right. So that's my main focus right well, now. You I know, I think it's time right now. Perfect more than other. What about managing Spanish rice and fried chicken? <laughs> hey, 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 I like that. I like that. It hey, sounds hey, like hey, good, man. Know, it sounds like something we got to throw it on you like that. Yeah. Pause. It sounds like something you know, we, we, we had to ask you. That might be really? cool. That might be cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm up for the challenge. Never manage no podcast. Hey. But hey, there's a first time for everything. You know, yeah. that's the best experience because you learn from it. You know, yes, sir. first hey, time. Y'all heard it here first, man. We might have our first man. manager. Manage rice and chicken. Fit, 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 bang. Yeah, and, and I also so got. Know what you got going. I also got coming. I'm currently working on getting my CPA license. You know, okay. I'm going to be a public accounting. You no. Know? Oh, you good? Nice. <laughs> so do accountants, public accountants, do they manage like people's money or? Uh, we uh, that'd be a consulting. I'm I'm going towards the tax tax line mm. oh. so I'll, I'll be doing like taxes i could help LLC. you with the taxes you okay, know good. next year nice. you, you could holler at me nice. we'll be like ready little, you give me like a little cushion like you know what I mean? yeah yeah well, like, you know what I mean? we'll that, about that's the goal that's yeah. the goal you know hey but yeah, 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 yeah. but yeah the goal this is to be that's my best friend i need to know <laughs> ricky man ricky no, ricky no, no, no. i can rico ricky on instagram i can rico ricky <laughs> yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta roll the R's. Swab, game. Swab. <laughs> Swab. My man's hit him with the swap. I didn't gonna throw out the pool like that. My man's came with it. But no, but that's that's what you got going. You got the C the CPA, that's what it was? Yeah, CPA, CPA license. CPA and also management. Management and also um, my the clothing line, you know, killing competition. Hello. Man, y'all make sure y'all tap in the killing competition, bro. Y'all see how fly this thing look. Do you have a website no or Instagram joke, page for your um Yeah, I have an Instagram just it's just killing competition, you know? Nice. nice. So we're working on the website, everything. We're trying to run everything legit, you know, especially uh due to my background of business. I'm, I'm trying to do all this, you know, make things happen, and we're moving forward with with projects. Yeah, so we have right a lot of fun things coming. Out of all center. three of those different professions, what is your favorite? What is that on the back? Oh, I love the music. Oh, nice. yeah. It's a grenade with a. The music, man. That's, so being that? a manager, of music is your yeah, favorite. That's yeah, that's AK. I, I love music. Yeah, an AK and a, and a grenade. So the I KC, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like Killing them softly. This Killing them competition. Softly. You already know. Stop playing. Yeah, respect the game. Yeah, but I love music. Like going back to the same topic, I, I love music. You know, I like how it could change your mood. You know, the traveling. <laughs> yes. I get to travel with the guys a lot. Yes. You know, so I love that. You know. Yes. Hey, hopefully you get to travel with a podcast too. You feel me? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Know. I'm not even finna play with Ricky. I feel like Ricky ain't no joke. I'll fuck around and be in Colombia tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you know, yeah. what I mean, shout out to all my guys. Yeah, Let's go to Colombia tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Shout out to she, Melo she. in the building, man. You got such a galactic mind, you hear me? Hey. Shout out to the guys, man. Oh, see, El Mágico, Naeem, RJ in the building, uh, too. Uh, yo, that's my guys, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's that Hey, what's that other color line? Poke, the Pokemon-looking joint. Smokey oh, Mom. Smokey, Smokey Mom, Mom. Mom. RJ. Smokey Mom. Smokey Mom. Hey. You feel me? My, my homie, my, my brother, A.B., come on, man, with his clothing merch of Smokey Mom, man. If you Be smoke weed and you like Pokemon, man, come on, you got to rock with it. Yeah, you know, a little fusion, got, a little fusion between the two. Mode, man. Hey, they no, got I'm an trained. exclusive coming, though. They yeah. got an exclusive shirt coming. Shout out to Smokey Mon, too. AB. Okay, okay. Smokey Mon. AB. Before we let AB. you go, before we let you go, you feel me? I got a little, it's kind of, it's like a like one of those type of topics, because I just, we got to ask, like, what y'all think about this. But um, over the last week, uh, Donald Trump and Joe Biden had that debate. Debate. Right. That's what you could call it. This shit was like a comedy sketch. Hello. I thought that shit was really Saturday Night Live, but Clowning. whatever. Hey, right? but we watching it, though. That's most important. That's First a, and foremost. That's yeah. what they wanted. Yeah, we were tuned, yeah. yeah, we tuned in. So Donald Trump had made a comment, and he had made a comment about black jobs. Okay, When he made the comment about black jobs, the rhetoric could have been mistaken for racism. Right. Right? Because the way he said it was like, Yo, the whatever is taking away black jobs, right? Yeah. Immigrants. So, what are black jobs? 
So Do you I know think, what a black job is? Because I don't. I think it wasn't that deep. I think I think the Thanks. Democrats want to take it there. I but it. I think what they're saying is like <laughs> African Americans have pretty much built this country, and so That's if nice. anybody you feel me has the you know the first pick, it should be them. They right, should right. be able like we still building this country and creating a whole culture, which is hip hop and right. like influencing the world. Facts. Like everything we do, we Facts. change everything, Facts. and that's the African American people, not the Caribbean, not the. This is the African American people. Wow. What I think he's saying is like how they don't get first dibs, how they still like. Scraping, I don't think he's necessarily saying that, but from my perspective, it's like how we still scraping for stuff, how we still in poverty, and other people is coming over here and they coming up, and we still in the same position. Mm -hmm. Like, the, we should be able to get access to those things first. Mm -hmm. So, under what he's saying is like under Biden's rule, since he's been in position, it's not been beneficial for us. And then, but Biden was a joke. He was a manipulation to the black people. They put him Talk as the vice president for Obama he just because they knew they was going to make him the president next and then put a black person as the vice president for him so that black people, the older people that are easily more swayed and stuff, Hello. could go with the flow. But yeah. even Kamala Harris, she not even on our side either. She been doing more for Asians than she mm -hmm. did for the black community. Every time they ask her a question specifically aimed at black people, she always be like, well, everybody. No, what she says is, well, I don't think it's fair for us to just talk about only black people like we're to have to talk about all americans and she always pull that if she even speak or appear at right, that. Right, 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 right. you feel wow. me so i feel like trump i don't think this is serious i think trump he's he's a gemini so i think when he speaks sometimes he speaks a little reckless but i don't think he meant it in the way that people is trying to turn he it didn't mean derogatory the way they took it that's the yeah, that's I the competition that. putting it in the media trying to that's make for it sure what it is i mean yeah. everybody know I, how trump is Right. Trump got, but this is another thing too. Like Trump got a lot of people out of jail, pardoned a lot of people, and a lot of people from our community. Like ASAP wouldn't have got out of the situation he was That's in overseas fact. if it wasn't for Trump. That's a great. Um, uh, a uh, lot uh, of the fact. people, the, the older lady, player. Kodak Black wouldn't have came home. Kodak Black Wayne wouldn't have came home. Nope. Wayne would have been in trouble. Those are just our people. It was probably like three hundred other people that he helped out, the and it was the black, the was Spanish Russia. lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get to that. It was the Spanish lady, too, that got locked up for drugs, for smuggling drugs. He got her out, too. I forgot what her name is, but she was an older Spanish lady, and she would, she taped the kilos to oh. her body, and she was in get there you, for get a long the time. Yale. But Kim <laughs> Kardashian was advocating for yeah. her and talked to Trump, and he got her out, too. So it's just a lot of, you feel me? Like, at the end of the day, Trump is not a fan favorite in politics because somebody He's like Obama. A politician. No, because somebody like Obama, like Oprah paid for his campaign. Right. And there's other people like Joe Biden. People are paying for their campaigns. And when they do that, it's like, yeah, I'm going to pay for your campaign. But when you get in the office, make sure you pass this law. Make sure you pass yeah, this law. So that's what they do. Pocket. You're a puppet. Trump ain't in nobody's day, pocket. And that's day. what made them mad. But we had a good relationship with Israel when Trump was in. Yep. We had a good relationship with Russia. Ukraine. Yep. Ukraine. And Putin was like this. Yeah, Him but and we, Putin was like this. So it's whether like. It's, whether it's. Um, whether it's authentic or not, you got to play that game when it comes to these countries yeah. because we got to eat. If not, what's going to happen to us? What's happening to uh, us? Right, right now, right. 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 prices what's are rising. Uh, we gas don't have prices, resources. Gas messed up our gas with pallets, like all that stuff. We started touching the reserve. Seven our reserve, to ten dollars of fucking gas. I seen you yeah, downtown by, uh, by the Union Station. There's a Chevron right there. That gas right there is seven dollars plus. And I believe you. I that's passed through there. Gas, yo. Downtown, yeah, and much. you know downtown, that's like, people ain't rich downtown. Hell like, no. the gas is that high. Hell no. Hell no, they ain't rich Hell downtown. No. Drive somewhere out to like Mid-City, you know, Hoover and Vermont right there, catching them with discounts on over there. I'm going to be real with y'all. Yeah, shout Fuck. out to all the, uh, Pico and LeBrail got a good yeah. one. Yeah. Shout out to Pico <laughs> District. She still yeah. ain't one to Shout out to all the Pico. <laughs> Yeah, hey, we got to get paid for that. I'm from West L.A., so Mid-City, we, we Mid-City, what y'all call Mid-City, that's really West L.A. to the hood. People West L.A., baby. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah that is. So, okay, you throwing yeah. up the yeah. So. Well, yeah, I grew up there. That exactly. Going west end. Exactly. Well, I'm really from West Adams, Adams and Normandy. You Ooh, feel me? I know but, the area. But still, I hung off of, like, Hauser and Washington. You feel me? Yes, so, like, yes, you know. yes. Yeah. I was in Washington. That's what I was. I was, I was, a, I was, a, I was a Valley boy, so, like. Yeah, you, yeah, it was different. Like totally, dude. I'm from the 818. All right. <laughs> so, but look, before we jump off of this, I need to ask you because you have a military background. Right. What do you feel about Trump's rhetoric? 
because that's what I'm about to get into before we cut it out. I got to get into Trump's re- rhetoric. D- Trump, excuse me. Do you feel some way, some type of way about that? No. So what do you feel about, who, first of all, who are you going for? I'm going for Trump. Shit. Yeah. Same I'm here. I'm going for Trump. America. Because America. Biden had his chance, bro, and he'd been sleeping. Right. So sleeping Joe, literally. literally, literally been sleeping, at the podium. He's literally so, been sleeping. Falling all down, Air Force I, One. I, I need it's my like, con- No I Air Force One zone. Better. No Air Force One zone. Just falling. What, what's better? Money or morale? <laughs> you can call it morale, but what are we doing for these other countries? Are we supporting them? <laughs> What, we call what, what, what is that called? No, we're overly supporting these other countries under the Biden thing. We're taking away from us. We're funding Israel's war right now, and that really don't got nothing to do with us. And now we we'll put a big That's hit a on us with Iran. I'm Hamas. tired of that. That's a fact. I'm tired of us fronting the bill, right? Paying taxes. They up in they up in the cost of living. They up in the cost of expenses. But then y'all go give another country millions, right, but we're trillions, still, and like, billions we're of dollars. We're still crazy. scraping to fucking make it. That's like, crazy. Like they've had to, you the know, the best up the country in the world, in supposedly. They've had to up the wages in California, but people don't understand. They'd be like, oh, y'all get paid so much. It's like, uh, we. That's because the cost of living is so much. Yeah, the groceries really is so you much. You go to the south, that shit's like cut in half, son. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever man. we get out of here, 20-something or whatever for a regular job, they're getting, like, 10-something in, 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 in the South somewhere. So California is crazy for that. But I have to be honest with y'all because I did hear what y'all had to say. I do respect it. But I have to be honest about something. When it comes to Trump and it comes to Joe Biden, I'm a more of an independent person. So that right. means I got, like, a green flag. I don't I really I mean, I would like rather, if or. I got to choose between both evils, I think I'd choose Trump. But I don't I really rock with, you feel me? Yeah, so, either or. Yeah. I really don't. Um, my thing is this. My thing is, I think Trump is an amazing president because he's not political. He's a businessman. Right. Right. So he focuses on the business of the topic. Right. If we're talking about war or something like that, so. eh, where's the money at? That's all he's worried about. Bringing jobs to America. He cares he's about that. that. And we care about that, too, because why should China make all of our stuff and all these right. other places? Yeah. That's, yeah. A That's a fact. That's a fact. He's you know, a businessman. You know, India took over the Apple contract, right? Which is why you guys got all type C charges now instead of a fucking Apple. You're right. Like, I read a, an article about that. You're right. Yeah, it's all made yeah, in Yeah, but that's now. such a stupid thing to change. It's yeah, like a charger piece. Is that more piece, expensive like. or is it more cheaper for us? Uh, well, the phones have gotten more expensive. They're like $2,000 phones yeah. just because of the titanium frame, quote yeah. unquote. Yeah, but India I mean, is getting really, pricey too. This is trash. This is trash. But here's, but I have a question for y'all, for real, for real. For so real. minus his rhetoric, minus the fact that we even feel like he's a good businessman or could be or whatever. My question is this: when you ask a, when you say something to somebody, you say, "Hey, Joe Biden is a reason why inflation has went up. It's a reason why immigrants." You use the word immigrants, which is. I guess that's a legal word or whatever. Yeah. But he used the word immigrants, and then he said is the reason why they're taking the black jobs. Right? Bro, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> the fuck, what the fuck is a black job for real? Yeah. I heard what you said, right? right, right? I and read you, an article. You're more than welcome to, to... But my whole thing is, bro, so are we saying that entry-level jobs are black and Hispanic jobs? Well, the that's is, bullshit, I, I, I bro. Like we do everything, looking into it bro. too much. So yeah, I, mean, I think you're looking into it too much, because like How? I said, Trump has always been outspoken. Like he 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 always speaks what comes first to his mind, yes. and then worries about the repercussions after. Yes. So him saying that, like you know, Quasar has said, I don't think what came with a malintent or malice towards the minorities mm-hmm. in that situation. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean they're taking our jobs, but what he feels is like, oh well. They, and their and their homes that's probably all I think it was more offense to the immigrants than to I, I, the minorities I'm about to get there that's where I was about to go but that's where I was about to go because if I wanted to I want to go to any country that's still go not going to change my vote For right real. but here's Same. my thing though my thing is this motherfucker you got to think before you speak I don't give a fuck I, I, I don't give a fuck you got to think before you speak because Honestly, you don't know no. who you're offending the you reason why I though. feel like he has to is because not everybody's going to think like him we also so have, now, we people when people would have voted for him, they're gonna go vote for Joe Biden because they feel like, well, maybe morale, like morale. They gotta be dumb if they if that's all it's gonna take for them to vote for Joe Biden. Well, yeah, if that's all it's gonna take, gang. Yeah. But at the same time, oh damn. Yeah. Hey man, I guess we're gonna have to go to part two yeah, on the Donald Trump thing. I appreciate y'all, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy, the Mucho, and your boy, the official Brown Terrence Howard, and we got. 
Quasar the Composer. And Ricky Rick. And this is another lovely episode of Spanish Rice and Fried Chicken. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, bitch. You yeah, already this know. So, man, we ain't playing with y'all, man. Hey, right before we cut off the camera, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys share this. And don't worry, the vlogs are coming soon. Hopefully, the vlogs come way before this video. And, and more soon. skits, too. Follow me on Instagram at Quasar the Composer and check out my music streaming on all platforms. Hey, isolate on the hill. Make sure you guys go tap in, tap in, tap in. Yeah, Ricky, for sure. Your IG, please. IG, I que rico Ricky. I que rico. I rico. See, I can't even do the And also, <laughs> Killing Competition, man. That's the brand. Follow. Give me a follow, man. I'm giving out some free shirts for the next couple of months. You know, we're doing something different. We're changing Hello. things Hello. around, you know? And you already know me, the real official Brown Terrence Howard. So we got donuts up here there in the building. And we got Mucho. And we all signing out. We are out. Out.